sense. Well, my political people, they're not doing so well. The political people aren't doing so well, but you. And we're going to yes, get a little bit. Some will take a little bit longer idiot. than others. But Mike was literally, I had a, a group of what, we have nine different people. Now, I must say, I didn't mind canceling eight appointments. That wasn't the worst yes, thing in the world. But I met so, him, and I said, he is so good. Number one in the Sounds like a third grader. Now, I know a lot of the worst brother. And Let me tell you. you it's, I'm, a person that very I can't even stand to hear him speak. speak. He sounds so horrible. He sounds like a third, first grade kid. Let me tell you something. I'm so glad these women are marching. I'm so glad these women are marching and gay people are marching. Because if we waited on y'all, Ash, oh, I was about to curse. And I try not to curse. And I have to say this every time. If we had to wait on y'all black ass shit behinds to... To do anything we'll be so behind and everybody keeps saying you know well this is a feminist agenda and a gay agenda and a this and that agenda your black ass ain't doing nothing every we we marched we went to the uh march on washington and out of that all i had was like feet muddy feet and sweat that's all i did and sore back like from what standing up for about five hours but Every other group knows how to organize and actually do stuff and move things forward. But black folks, we don't, you know. And the, and the thing about this women's march, I'm glad it's taking place because it shows that nobody cares about Donald Trump. Nobody cares about his horrible administration. Nobody cared about that horrible inauguration. It was like, a, you know, it reminded me of like an Easter speech um, program or something. Like, Everybody got up there, and then the way he was reading, just re go back and look at like how he was reading his speech. It, it just looked like an Easter speech, because he was like, I love my cat and dog, and I'm, oh, when, let me tell you, it ain't going to be all right. It ain't. It ain't going to be all right. And, you know, one of the things that I've learned just working in civil rights and activism is that black folks, like, we don't, I hate saying black folks don't stick together, but it's it's true, like, we don't really stick together, like, for our issues. Like, I can remember, I can think about the MPHC, and people got mad at me about this, but I don't care, because I ain't in anything, I don't care, I say what I want. When MPHC, they boycotted, like, what's that show, Sorority Sisters? But I could barely get them to get out and register somebody to vote. Like, it'll be like one or two show up, but you can get like a um, hundred of your, your Asher chapter members to pass around a, a petition for a damn TV show. But we couldn't get you to really be active about the Death in Custody Act, the Voting Rights Amendment Act, um guidance for um what is it, the school to prison pipeline we can't get you to even talk about that but you can talk about a tv show i'm bringing it back up see we can't we can't stay together and we we make this we make issues that don't mean anything you know like we we really act like all of these issues that we have are important like these little small issues like, like you so you can you can protest a TV show, but we have all of these acts that we're trying to push through. And this voter registration, nothing. But you can send two people for that for voter registration. Hundred of your chapter members for something else. What is we gonna do? I'm telling you, like that showed me a lot. And then the March on Washington um, thing that showed me a lot because there was no follow up, there was no follow through, there was no organization, there was no um, plan of action. Like, there was no, like, legislation that we should have been following and to take back to our communities. There was nothing after the March on Washington. But with the Women's March, with the gay marches, there's always a plan of action. There's a, a action guide that's, like, basic enough to, like, keep you together. There's, like, these groups that you, you're in contact with on and on. There's always, like, an action, a day of action, like, every month or every weekend. They have like these fundraising events where they they have the money that's consistently flowing through, but for black people like we won't even like support the NAACP. 
And then we have like all of this stuff to say about the organizations, but we don't want to contribute anything as if their lawyers like work for free and as if their staff work for free and don't have a light bill. How are you going to keep people working if you're not paying, they can't pay their bills? I'm telling you, we got to do better with all of this. Cause, and then we worried about the LGBT, the gay agenda and the, black, the feminist agenda. We need a black agenda. We need to actually work towards that. You know, it, it just makes me so angry. And then I saw the video of um, Chrisette Michelle and Travis Green performing in Talladega. It annoyed me so much. Like, that's another part of it. Like, you want us to, you know, push our agenda for black people. And y'all won't even... I don't know, I'm, I'm going to get mad. Y'all won't even be one accord about singing one song at an event. That's crazy. Like, John Lewis, the dude that got his head bust wide open, said he's not going. But your black ass, go and sing one song. And go against that, the same one song, and go against black people. See, that's why white folks don't take us, that's part of the reason why white, men and white people don't take us seriously. Because we can't even be on one accord about the, little, the smallest stuff. You think that they care about black people when... We can't even be on one accord about singing one song at an event or marching or in a parade that nobody cares about. Like, who cares about you marching in that? You need to be worried about going to Honda, not to the inauguration. Who cares about that? Go to Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Going into an inauguration of a person that's really going to sign the, the legislation to even allow your Ashley University to keep receiving Pell Grant money. You don't even think about that. Like the, the Republicans, they want to strip money from Pell Grants. That's keeping your school open. But you march for somebody and you're saying it's not a political event. Yes, it is. When the elder people in Congress have said they're not attending, you still attend and you march. Ridiculous, horrible, deplorable. Y'all are part of the deplorables. Talladega Marching Band. De I want to curse so bad. Deplorable. Y'all are deplorable. Chrisette Michelle, Travis Green, deplorables too. I wish I had like a deplorable board, a de deplorable board. Travis Green, Chrisette Michelle, Steve Harvey, Talladega Marching Band, Kanye West will all be on the deplorable board. Y'all are horrible. Like you can't even stick together for an event. They don't about to take us seriously about that. That's why they take gay people serious. That's why they take um, these feminist groups seriously. Because they can stick together. We can't stick together. We always want to have, well, God said it. God didn't tell you that because God didn't tell me that. I talk to God every day. How God told it to you, he didn't tell, tell me that. He didn't tell everybody else that, but he told you. And it don't make sense to even the top religious leaders what you're doing. Idiots. You know, I just get mad about that. Not just want black folks to understand that people take you seriously when you organize and when you have money to back your issues. They're not going to take you seriously if you can't stay on one accord. And that's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. And then another thing, everybody's like, like, people are against like these feminist groups and gay groups, but the feminist groups and the gay groups are the ones that's leading the Black Lives Matter movement in the first place. It's, and it's the truth. Black Lives Matter was created by black gay women, right? You can Google it. Every time I go to a protest, guess who is on the front line? Black gay men and women. When they shot and killed this man, he was unarmed in, in D.C., the Black Fathers Association, they come out and protest it was Black Lives Matter, mostly gay black men, gay black women that was out there marching. But you want people to take you seriously and, and you know, answer your agenda. They out there marching. Where are you? you? You got all this mouth. And then church people do the same thing. They're like, well, we got to stand up for something. You stand up on Facebook. You ain't marching. You ain't doing nothing but posting stuff on Facebook. You don't register nobody to vote. Your church don't 
march. Your church don't do anything about police brutality. They don't do anything about legislation that's going to hurt the poor. They don't do anything. But y'all, y'all do is praise breaks. And then post ridiculous stuff about holiness and all this stuff when half of your members can't even afford their light bill. It's sad. That's sad. I just wanted to say that, like, women and gay people are out here, like, going against this administration and, and going to actually make the change. And everybody else is sitting, sitting on, the, on the sidelines just talking about how bad it's going to be. And, and looking and commenting on Facebook and posting statuses, but y'all ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. So you ain't gonna have a voice. That's all I really wanted to say. Um, in Jesus' name I pray, 